Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Stellaris Utopia, the first major expansion of the Stellaris game. This is actually part two of a live stream that I did with Kushin from Kushin's Gaming. In the first part, we just explained some of the features of Stellaris Utopia as well as setting up our empire and getting things started. In this episode, things will move swiftly into conflict. Uh, without getting too far down the uh, spoiler alert train, there's some rather entertaining and interesting uh, outcomes that will be uh, not too far off. I think, you know, two or three minutes off uh, till we see some rather interesting and uh, not entirely anticipated and uh, expected uh, results. Uh, with that being said, this again is taken from a live stream, so I'm going to go ahead and jump back into the stream and allow you to enjoy the original audio the way it was. I will meet you back up at the end. Thanks again for watching, guys. Bye. I had pretty much zero issues with it. Like, no, I, in fact, I've actually had good luck with Windows. I mean, I know people didn't like it. I actually liked Vista. I didn't really have too many issues with, with Vista. Um, Windows 7, Windows 8, I liked both of those. I liked ME growing up, and I had, like, no issues with it, even though I know everyone's like, that's the worst one ever! Oh my god, you used, you actually used ME? <laughs> it was given to me. I was a child. I didn't know I mean, any better. I mean, I mean, Vista wasn't great, but I mean, I've used worse operating systems. I mean, it was it was very bloated. I found it wasn't good for mobile, but I never had an issue on my desktop. I mean, I guess I guess my problem with uh, with Vista wasn't when it first came out. Nobody had sixty four bit drivers, but I mean, that was pretty much solved in six months. Uh, Windows Seven was great. Uh, XE was, XP was great. I didn't really ever play around with Vista. Um, 8, I was not a fan of. Just mentality-wise, I thought the idea of, like, let's turn this into a quasi-tablet, but it still needs to do all the Windows stuff for, like, a desktop, but it's a tablet, because that's where the market's going, even though people don't really want it to do this. Uh, like, I, I, thought, I thought 8 was a bastardization of an operating system, where they kind of tried to do half and half. I mean, at least, I mean, I agree, but at least they, they were trying something. I, by the way, uh, for those of you talking about Windows 98 in the chat, every day at work I see this person, they've got like a sports license plate, and it says Win98 on it. And every time I see that, I just want to think, this guy is a huge Windows 98 fan. Like, he's the biggest Windows 98 fan you've ever seen. I know that's not what it is. It's probably some, like, athlete on this team that I don't follow, that their number is 98. But it's more fun to think of someone being in, like, 2016, this, like, or 2017, just this avid Windows 98 fan who, like, custom loads 98 on all of his machines and stuff like that. It may only be funny to me, but it makes me laugh. Yeah, that's really only funny to you. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Situation log updated. Not funny, gamer. You know what? If people came here to hear my humor, they wouldn't be here in the first place. So they can deal with it. Because <laughs> whatever I said just didn't really make any sense. Um, Let's see here. What about... Oh, that's what I wanted to do. I miss Bob. Anybody remember Microsoft Bob? No. What was Microsoft Bob? Let's see. Can I find Microsoft Bob? I thought you were talking about like a TV show or something. No, no. It, w it was an actual thing. And when I say I miss Microsoft Bob, I mean I don't miss it at all. Or the paperclip. Everybody remember uh, the paperclip? Oh, the paperclip was awesome. The paperclip ruled. Why is this turned into like Windows chat? Yeah, Bob was is according to PC World, uh, it's on Bob is on the seventh place of the list of twenty five worst worst tech products of all time. Why? <laughs> because it was awful. What did Bob do? Um, it was just a weird suite. Hmm. It was supposed to like provide a more user, according to Wikipedia. Um. It was intended to provide a more user-friendly interface for Windows 3.1X, Windows 95, and NT. Elena, did the paperclip have like a Mars rover? Is that what you're talking about? 
Windows NT. Never heard of NT. What was NT? Uh, new technology. I think it was the precursor to uh, XP. Okay. Um. Oh, the rover dog. Yeah, Bob. Yeah, you could have the different. Uh. Yeah, you could have the rover. You could have. Yeah. I'm still a fan of... By the way, these spiral galaxies are weird to me. Because you've got a very narrow approach to expand... Like, the other... The kind of dispersed galaxy, you've got a a more free hand in exploring. And here you've got to go down, like, a very narrow path. And in some of these, there's only one connector where someone could easily block your path. That's kind of why I chose this galaxy. Um, where are you located? I'm not telling you. Why? Because I don't know where you're at. I'm not getting I'm that. near the, you know, the center mass that you can't do anything with. If you yeah. go north, you see how there's that one lone uh, star 780 G class. Oh, you're actually, you're actually north of me. I'm just to the west of that. Yeah, you're... On the inner ring, like, is almost... Yeah, almost... I'm, on, I'm on the same ring. You're actually north of me. So... We're not that far, we're not that far apart. Are you like directly south of the blob, or where are you? I no, I'm actually on the same ring, going to your left, down your ring, or down your spiral arm. How far down? A couple jumps. Just a couple. Yeah. In fact, you see where that highlighted thing is? Am I starting to run into you? Um, no, not yet. We're gonna run into each other shortly, though. Oh, I've got a mission to get to 587. You can't yeah, get so there. So, you see the Shadow Nebula? Uh, yeah. I'm, you see the, the two, like, two where, we've got the Shadow Nebula, and it's got, it's, the name is over one of the systems. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm to, like, the left of where the Shadow Nebula is. I'm that first system over to the left. No. Oh, I've already encountered somebody. I think I'm starting to run into you because I can see the edge of my galaxy. The cover is starting to, the color is starting to change. Like, you know how you have different colors when you have different galaxies or different empires? I think yeah. I may be starting to run into you. Yeah, no, that, yeah, that's, uh, that's me. I don't see you yet, but, uh, Jerk. yeah, that's, uh, that's me. All hands, all hands, man your battle stations. This is not a yeah. drill. Yeah, we're going to run into each other here shortly. Lame. <clears throat> so, you go north, I'll go south. Yeah, thanks. You go that one narrow strip where there's that one little connector. Well, claim it quickly then. Ooh, hostile aliens. Well, that ain't me. What's it? It wasn't uh, me. No, they're amoebas. Oh. Or the crystal. I'm sorry. They're they're the crystal and things. Yeah, get out of there, science ship. Um, the other great thing about this uh about this patch is that when your survey ship runs into a system where it can't explore, you know how it used to retreat and then it would clear out the order queue. Uh, it, yeah. It doesn't do that anymore. When it retreats, it'll repath around, if applicable. Unity is in uproar following the news of unidentified ships sighted in the void. Their intentions unknown. It would be prudent yes. to assume the worst. Yeah, see, you're actually, I think, uh, starting to scout a little bit south of me now. Yeah, I was, I'm trying to get to 587. I've got some stupid little research objective to get there. So I just jumped. I'm jumping a bunch of systems away just to get there before you claim the colony. I don't think it's a colony, but no, it's not. It's red. It's uninhabitable. Um, but I'm just trying to get there to see if there's an object. Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I didn't really read the thing. 587. Pargol. Just west of Krimdor. Uh, I don't see that There's yet. an enemy fleet that has three Corvettes and seven, like three, or oh, three cruisers. So like one cruiser and seven Corvettes. It just sailed south of me. 
It says alien vessels, though. Yeah, those are just the uh, amoebas or something like that. I don't think to worry about. Yeah, so uh, in uh, on Saturday's live stream, we uh, I had a fleet of seven point eight thousand firepower show up in my home system, <coughs> and uh, it comes in, it moves into like where like the system's asteroid belt was, and then it just stops. I can't initiate contact. I can't do anything. They're they're not hostile, you know, and they just sit there. And then you know they had like forty two Corvettes, like twenty some odd destroyers or something like that. And then they make contact. Say they're basically nomads, and they're just basically saying, you know, please leave us alone. We won't touch. You know, we won't bother you if you don't bother us. And then they turn and leave. And then they go to another system close by and say, this system is in your territory, can one of our tribes land on it and colonize it? So they do, and form a new empire, and slightly push my my uh, force back. And then they basically, you know, then they the Nobad fleet basically goes to the edge of the galaxy and sends me a message saying, they're leaving this galaxy, you know, we hope to find, you know, you know thank you, and then they just leave. And then I have, like, the best friends in the entire world of one system that, you know, they're happy I let them settle on this uninhabited rock. Cool. Yeah. It was, you know, kind of a new event I wasn't really, you know, expecting. Master Shipwrights. I don't know what I'm supposed to do in this sector. Uh, artifacts, if we can find enough relics from the civilization, that's not that. Are you supposed to research something? Research. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe I just sailed him all the way over here for no, no. <laughs> I mean, if it's, if it's not, if it doesn't have a research project, you don't have to do anything in the system. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you may have to survey the whole system. It doesn't give me the option to survey. I wonder if I had some like um, achievement which <laughs> gave me that that system's mapping. I don't know. That maybe. See, when I selected cluster players, I didn't think it would put us this close together. Okay. Ah. Uh... Hey, Nu, if you're still around, is your friend who is getting that, like, 700 subs on Twitch randomly and then, like, the thousands of dollars of donation, has he, has he streamed again? Whoa, it's going all over the map. Look out. Oh, and I missed it? That guy rocks. I'm going to have to go by and watch four hours of streaming. What's with all these Canadians being so awesome on YouTube? Seems like there's a lot of them. I don't know any awesome people from Washington, though. Because there's not. He admits. <laughs> yeah, we all kind of suck. Oh, this whole state sucks. <laughs> that was the guy who bought a house there. Encounter in chocks. 
Yeah, that's my survey ship. Yeah? Where were those really awesome big planets you were talking about? Not in that system. There is a 25 planet here. Uh, it's not going to be free for long. For Shoda, here we come! Do you get it? Do you get it? Do you get it? No, I don't get it at all. For Shoda, you don't you don't get the reference? No. What was eighteen nineties, I can't remember the year. Um the French have this dream of having a east to west railroad across Africa. The British have their dream of a north to south railroad across Africa. They're all colonizing sort of the interior of Africa, which basically meant sending these small parties through um, and claiming these places as their own. And a French expedition and a British expedition meet. I want to say it was like 1896 uh, at a place called Fashoda, both claiming it for themselves, both claiming it, it was this key location that would have either cut the British off at the knees in terms of their advance south down the Nile or, you know, limited the French expansion toward the, the eastern African coast. And uh, both sides run into each other, both sides claim the territory, and, you know, war almost breaks out over it. Oh, I remember. Okay, I know I know what we're talking about now. Did it eventually go to the, to the British? Yeah, the British won. <clears throat> well, I, didn't, I don't think a war actually ever broke out, did it? No, 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 no. But I think Churchill was there, actually. But it was it was one of those key moments. It was the last big colonial dispute between the French and the British before they signed the Triple Entente. Research. Is that your colony ship? No, it says Alien Menace. That's not you, is it? No, it's not me. Huh. Faction those founded. Are, those are not me. A new faction has recently been gaining t traction in the internal political landscape of the Holy Human Empire, led by Governor Hugh Zuch. They call themselves the Human Supremacy Bloc. Their members seek to uh, assert the primacy of the human species by curtailing the rights of aliens if necessary. A disgruntled faction will be a source of trouble, but those that approve of the government's actions could prove useful. I don't know why I switched accent, accents. That is my colony, though. Why does it say there's a beta menace? I have no idea. And it says there's someone on the planet. The planet just went to me. I just colonized the planet. I have no idea what those aliens are, though. Because those are not mine. <laughs> But I, I guess it's just a question mark because I haven't seen you yet? No, those are not my Corvettes. I'm not talking about the Corvettes. It says there's well, a... No. Well, no, the, the Gamma Aliens. Those, those weren't mine. Oh. Wait, did they... They just bombarded my planet. Oops. Did you just bombard my planet? You said you weren't the aliens. I didn't know. It said, Dude. it said beta aliens. I didn't know. Well, because I didn't know beta aliens were you. You, I no. said there was a fleet of five Corvettes in this system. After I had already issued the order to bombard, I was looking around for them. You fucking bastard. <laughs> I mean, I'm serious. I, I, I said, what are these beta aliens? And you're like, I don't know who those aliens are. I didn't know what you were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I attacked him because they said they were aliens. I assumed if they were a human species, it would have given me some kind of alert. No. I guess I'm not terribly familiar with how everything <laughs> unfolds in this game. Because we still don't, until we actually research contact advice, we don't actually like gain contact knowledge of each other. My bad. That just cost you 300 minerals. <laughs> 350. Uh. 
I didn't realize that. I, I figured a colony would have lasted longer than that if I had accidentally shot at you. I didn't realize it died yeah, that fast. It, because, it, because it wasn't a full colony. It was developing. When you develop, you know, because, you know, it's, it takes the 24 months to actually turn into a colony. Yeah. When it does that, it's still basically vulnerable. Okay. I guess, I, I, like I said, I'm not, I wasn't terribly familiar with how that all worked. Oh, my bad. My bad. Just gonna have to build another one. Of course, now Gamer probably has his own colony ship down on en, en route. No, I have no colony ships. You can see this. Uh... Well, that's going on YouTube. <laughs> uh... Gamer stabs been back. <laughs> I mean, my channel right now is, or my uh, my stream right now is Stellus Utopia, getting the gang back together by the gang. I mean, Kushin, because clearly I'm I'm very effective at gaining an audience with clever names. So, Elena, are you saying you'd kill us all as well, or were you jump in and take chalks first? Yeah. <laughs> Now, if THG had a colony ship ready, there's a perfectly good system with no one on it. <laughs> Are you guys sure you want to play with me? Um, maybe not now. I mean, I've got a couple places that I'd like to colonize, but they're all kind of small. There's like a, a colony planet, or um, a... This planet has poor minerals, but it's a 21. And then there's another planet in my area that has, you know, 80% habitability, no, no negatives, but it's only size 12. I'd go with the size 21, to be honest. I mean, even with the poor minerals, I mean, you can still use it to generate uh, credits. Hmm. I mean, I have a size, two size 16 planets within my boundaries, although one's a size... It's a size 16, but it's a Savannah world with only 20% habitability, so I can't really colonize it now until I, uh... Communications established with the Holy Human Empire. Is this you? Our warriors salute you! The news well, that we have encountered intelligent alien life for the first time has shaken our society to the core! Leaked footage. Love this friendship set to music, humans. As fellow Star Explorers, we salute you. Our sacred arm shall not waver, humans. Uh, as fellow Star Explorers, we salute you. So have you colonized any other planets yet? I had started to colonize another planet. Okay, you know, okay, okay. Until somebody blew my colony ship apart. You know... Just for that. Am I even within your borders? I'm not even within your borders. Chill. System survey complete. So touchy. I thought you had two like twenty-five plus planets. Um, you haven't found that system yet. <laughs> Why haven't you colonized that one? Because uh, that system was actually in a more strategic location. Oh, you were trying to block me off. I see how it is, jerk. No, it, it actually... Sirius would have only... I shouldn't have said the planet name. Um, Would have only pushed my borders out a little bit, and it would actually bring it into contact with yours. I am going to colonize that system if you don't... Uh, I'm split now. Do I go after the system with two in it, or do I go after Chox and get that one? <laughs> oh, Sirius over there. I think I just recently have... I just detected that there was a habitable planet there. So you're so you're gonna go for chocks then? Uh I don't know what you're talking about. Are you watching the stream? Yeah, I am. He dick. <laughs> I'm not playing with you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what? We played that entire last game for like twelve hours perfectly peacefully.
See, you have an advantage though. You're pe you're playing Admiral Limits on me. You you can see everything. You can watch my stream just as easily as I can watch yours. I blame I blame Elana, Elana, Elana. I think I'm just gonna do my entire stream in um like another language, but not a real language, like a fake alien language. This is the ultimate role play of Stellaris. System survey complete. To all you viewers, the language that my people speak is. I think gamer is drunk, guys. No. Somebody's been drinking. No. I had one peer. I'm not drunk. Somebody is drunk. Just spreading rumors, false news, all that garbage. I don't actually want to get into a war with you yet. Yet. I assume you're going to attack me or something. No, I. to be honest, when I play, I, I much prefer playing cooperative in these sorts of games, to be honest. Okay. I well. mean, it's really never, you know... I mean, just like that last game, I probably could have wiped you out, but Colonization instead I helped you. Situation log updated. <laughs> do, do you see the name of my planet? Dai Kushan. Yeah, I, I, I see. I have a fleet around this planet, so if you want to come for it, it... In all honesty, I didn't know you were on the planet. That was an accident. I was confused by the whole... The aliens, but I figured, well, this is such a lovely little planet now that there isn't anyone on it. I don't know what you're saying with me muted. Are you about to, like, bombard my planet? No. I don't know if I believe you, but okay. No, I'm just building another colony ship. And I had some aliens fly through. In fact, I encountered aliens in another system. Space amoebas. Okay, guys, don't. You don't have to retreat. They're leaving. Survey system. They're just space whales. We don't have to worry. Everyone in the chat is saying I need to fight you. <laughs> is this you? No. Yeah, it is. What do you think you're doing, huh? Huh? Making a poor call. Construction complete. Can you please get away from my fleet? No, I'm, I'm seriously just making a poor call. I just decided to... What are you doing over here, huh? You guys get out of my little area? I don't know if I want to wait. I feel like you're probably going to show up with more ships. No. Someone just sent me a Steam message. Invade Kushin's planets! Birth of space piracy. Damn it. Construction complete. System survey complete. Anomaly found. War has been declared. Apparently. Oh, that's lame. 
What did you do? <laughs> I declared war on you, and my fleet went. <laughs> did they die? Where did they go? No, they uh, they go when you declare war. If you're inside territory, they go. Uh, I was uh, trying to figure out how the hell I was gonna declare war on you. I couldn't they, figure they, it out. They, they they go missing in action when you uh, if you're inside enemy or if you're inside enemy territory when you declare war. I was trying to bombard the planet, but it wouldn't let me until I declared war. <laughs> yeah, and I was trying to uh, you know to kill you, but it wouldn't let me do that because I didn't declare war. So then I was trying to figure out how to <laughs> declare war because I knew you were gonna do that. I just knew you were gonna go after me. No, I just really wanted to bombard your planet, so at least I... you had to pay. Pay, pay for it like I did. Hmm. I don't know if I believe that. Of course, I have no idea how large or well equipped your fleets are. I have four ships. <laughs> well, uh, oh, so that was your whole fleet? That was my whole fleet. <laughs> I don't know if I believe you. No, I, I look on my stream. Or somebody else can look on my on my stream. I have four Corvettes. That is my entire fleet. Thank you for telling me the ships are on the way to Seoul. We shall enforce a beach. That's fine, because I've actually got to go. What? I see how it is. Start a war and run away. Yep. Can we at least, like, declare peace? Like, how do you do that? I don't want to, I don't want to be at war. Uh, you probably, like, would lose a whole bunch of prestige or something. Um, I can't do it. For another 264 days. Well, let the us... defenders have not yet set any demands, so until you set demands, I can't end the war. How do I set demands? You know on the bottom right where it says you're in a war? Oh, set demands. Um, We shall vassalize you, cede your planet, or just open your borders. I'll make that my demand. Where do I drag that to? Just click it, drag it to base court. It says your name. I don't want to humiliate you. That would. Do you lose a lot of uh, influence if I humiliate you? I believe so. All right, we won't do that. You, we'll just click it over, and drag it to the right. There, now hit set demands. I don't really want to do that though. I don't want to hurt you too much. We'll just open borders. That's my demand. We want free trade. Ooh, I can offer you a white piece. Can you accept peace that? Offer war demands. Come now, Roman. Okay, so you're just going to agree to end the war without, like, uh, opening borders? I'll take that. Peace, love, and harmony. Yeah, man, we're all good. Admittedly, that didn't go as well as I wanted it to. <laughs> yeah. Trying to bombard frickin' planets with my fleet sitting right next to you. It would have cost you more to rebuild that fleet that I would have destroyed in the act than it would have saved you. Ugh. <sighs> All right, I've got ships I gotta do stuff with, but if you if you've gotta go, we can save and and head out. Um, no, I got a couple more minutes. I was, I mean, I really do have to go, but in a couple minutes. But I've got some a couple more, a little bit more time. Okay. I research? swear, if your borders encroach on Sirius before I colonize, I am not going to be happy. Well, I don't I know what's gonna it. happen when I colonize Chalks. I'm not quite sure how that'll influence my borders. Wait, I've already colonized it, haven't I? Yeah. And it just I just went south. I, I now have a colony ship that's uh, that's trying to get to Sirius that's just finished, so I can at least colonize the systems I wanted. I have a survey ship, but I'm le oh, Sirius is yours, dude. Sirius is yours. I may not. I may not have a choice if it falls into your borders before my colony ship gets there. I may lose out on it. I don't think it should. I've already uh, colonized. It depends on how your border grows as as your planet turns into an actual, you know, turns in, you know, goes to that 24 month, you know, thing where it's building the Situation. building oh. up. Um, yeah. It may push out and, and actually take it. I guess we'll see. It is really close, and I haven't finished yet. What's a stat? Yeah, oh, station. I'm gonna say my colony ship's one jump away, so it should get there, but it may, you know, by the time it crosses the system, it may be too late, depending on how it goes. Do you just have to basically land your colony ship, and then as soon as they start their um, thing? As soon as I land, it should it should claim it and start basically. It'll be a little bit of like border pushback there for a little bit. Okay. Uh, well, since I can't go north anymore, 
Let's go south. Oh, I love that name for my scientist. The name is T T X I A X I E. I haven't really been like building anything with my construction ship. Um, I don't normally build anything this early anyway. Nothing? Not this early. Oh, okay. Not even like energy and shit. Um, I mean, I built some. I mean, I built some energy, some some minerals as I go, but I'm not. I don't build huge amounts. I'd rather use that resources early on for things like colony ships and uh, buildings on planets. I'm glad I could help you with that. Grins sarcastically. <laughs> Ooh, my planet, my boundaries just expanded a little bit, but Sirius is still outside of them. Um, yeah, my ship's landing now. So you're going to push back. Better not cut me off from my home world. No, it shouldn't. It's just going to be a little bit of, like, border weirdness for... I'm still kind of boxed in here by you because if, if I'm assuming your border is going to go out from Prokatoran or whatever it's called. No, I don't have anything in Prokatoran. Pro but Kassel. I'm guessing your border at some point will expand a little bit south and that will block my only exit from this little enclave I have down here by Chucks. Your cat is a troll, Elena. Well, um... I wish you the best of luck in dealing with that. <laughs> I don't know how you deal with cat trolls. Are you the Tixasheron civilization? Me? Who the heck is that? No, they're just, uh, they're one of the primitives. 25 size planet, but it's an ocean world. Yeah. Can you bombard that and then colonize it? I've never tried bombarding it. I normally build a research station and then, um, I normally build a research station and then, um, and then research. An abandoned life pod was detected in close orbit of EM2. It is covered in scorch marks, presumably from when the pod's mothership exploded and preliminary scans suggest it was built more than 5,000 years ago. The crew of the SMS Vandarar managed to open the pod, revealing the withered remains of a reptilian alien clad in a resplendent <coughs> uniform. Clutched in one of its claws was a small picture of another individual from the same race, possibly a mate or revered leader. Okay. Systems. I feel like a lot of these systems are barren. They are. Did they reduce the amount of like resource heavy systems in the game? Um, I think they I think there's the like the colony slider which determines like how many planets are habitable. I think that should I mean, depends on how many colonies you want, but I mean that I like not having a whole lot of barren, you know, a whole lot of you System know, server. colonizable planets. I kind of like it, you know, Making people settle for, you know, alternates or having to build, you know, frontier outposts. Oh, no, the planets seem fine. It's like the resources that seem scarce. No, it seems about what it used to be. All right, well, I guess I'm wrong. I don't know. Yeah, I don't it's, know. It's... Yeah, no, I mean, it, it seems like it what it usually is. See, Sirius isn't really going to help my borders because I think your colony's more developed than mine. It's not really going to push mine out too much. Mm, I don't know. I was building an outpost on BU just to ensure that like, you didn't cut me off from my one jump line. I know you're one of those people who jumps all over with like your planets and it's kind of like a little circle here and a little circle there, but like I prefer contiguous borders. Um, speaking of, I actually did that in my, uh, in my, uh, Roman Star Empire game that I'm playing solo. 
Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> um, I had started out with that, and then I got my first extension perk, which was plus 25%. Um, I took... What's an what artist it? enclave? Uh, basically, it lets you trade with them. Because I just um, got contacted by them. Yeah, they, I think they're a trade. Um, but what did I take? I took... Um, I took one of these. Which one did I take? Interstellar uh, Dominion, which is plus 25% border range. And then, like, two years after I took it, I got a plus 20% border range uh, oh, tech finished. Good. And it basically made my small little islands basically, like, fill in. Hmm. Cool. Fuel's resource. Lithic gas refining. I don't know if that's worth more than fusion power or not. Chox is now completed. Or should I say, die, cushion, die! System survey complete. Anomaly found. Still don't know if I trust you not to come down and blow me up. Nah, not worth it. Not this early. Plus, what's the fun of, when you only have, like, two people playing, what's the fun of killing off competition at this stage? You can always rejoin as an AI empire. I could, but... <laughs> Alien writing. Someone used a mining laser from orbit approximately 5,000 years ago to carve a large body of writing into the surface of Uran Doka 4. Okay. Yeah, the other, the other thing I've, I've noticed about my uh, soul campaign is that everybody seems to be want to want to migrate away from my home world. Um, I noticed like you had migration before, but it was kind of very rare in my opinion. And then it seems like this one, it's like everybody wants to leave the home world and like migrate outwards. Huh, that's interesting. Any reason why? Were you failing as a leader or? No, no, I was, I mean, I was doing good. I, I don't know if it was a, if it was a, a faction thing or if it was, um, or if they were just trying to, uh, like, you know, if it's just built in of, hey, like the home world is crowded, let's, you know, migrate out. Hmm. Okay, cool. I'm debating sending my space fleet to deal with these. I don't know if they're aliens. Yeah, before we end the stream, let's do that. Let's end on a battle. Who are you going to go take out? Ghostbusters! Wait, what? <coughs> I'm not attacking you, I promise. Well, your one way out's about to get closed up by my borders. Yeah, over there by Percalion or whatever it's called. I told you it would. But Chox has a, there's a outpost on Bayou, so I should have a, a clean line back to my Situation territory. Updated. Yeah, I, I won't Hostile. work that. Hostile fleet, alien menace. And, of course, there's that. What? Construction Look at the map. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I wasn't intending to go any further down that line. You just wanted Chox. Well, I didn't really want it when I killed you, but when I killed you, I saw the opportunity and I took it. I'm not evil. I'm just kissing her. <laughs> I mean, when the opportunity arises, you need to you need to take it, but that doesn't mean that you were thinking about taking it before the opportunity was there. I probably got about 15 minutes and I'm going to have to head out, though. All right. No, I'll be done in like five just okay. gonna fight this one space battle and then be done. Because I unfortunately have to go to work tomorrow. Yay. I don't. I do have to get up early. I don't have to go to work, but I do have to go sign a bunch of papers. I will officially own the front door and the sliding door of our place, and the bank will own the rest. Hostile. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not even sure if I actually own the doors to mine. <laughs> oh, the coil gun battles are less interesting looking. I should go more with missile fleets. Although the coil guns, I think, are more in line with what you see in Battlestar Galactica. That and missiles. Hostile space sta station engaged. Yeah, I gotta get started on my... Uh, at some point when I free up from commando stuff, I gotta... Uh, uh, start my Stellar ship mod now that Utopia is out. Die, space station, die! Alright, everyone, that video was a little bit longer than my usual ones, uh, but I did want to get through the whole issue with Kushin, which I hope you guys found entertaining, as well as this destruction here of this initial alien uh, kind of outpost or pirate outpost on our borders. With that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and here and jump in, and this is actually the end of what we had for the stream that night. Uh, we will probably follow up if this is something that you guys think is enjoyable. Uh, but with all that being said, guys, I appreciate you tuning in. Until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching, and I'm out.